Hi, it's Miriam, and I have great news, but hold that thought. Um, as many of you know from viewing my other videos on my journey with eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, a rare autoimmune disease of the esophagus, um, I've had quite a journey this past year, which started last September when I experienced a very severe food impaction episode, a piece of meat got caught in my esophagus. That landed me in the emergency room, which landed me in the OR, uh, and it was resolved. It was taken care of with an endoscopy, and the biopsy results revealed that my eosinophil count was 100. And I was pretty upset and uh, it wasn't my first food impaction episode. I've had these since 1996, and uh, they haven't been able to figure out uh, a solution because there is really no cure for EOE right now still. Anyway, I was put on this six food elimination diet, which meant I could not eat wheat, dairy, eggs, fish, tree nuts, and soy. And I could eat everything else, which I did. So. And I also pureed those foods. My husband is a wonderful cook. He's the one filming. And um, uh, he would puree my food to, you know, really uh, diminish any possibility of food impaction because I could still eat meat. Uh, anyway, um, well, I had the endoscopy about seven weeks later and they were still 100. I had 100 eosinophil count and I was upset about that and the doctor said, you know, how about this medication? And medications don't work for me. In fact, I was on Prilosec many, many years ago. That did nothing for my EOE. Instead, it depleted my body of B12, which is not good. Um, so I said, listen, I think I know what caused the EOE count to be 100. I never really eat corn. And with this EO, uh, the six food elimination diet, I could eat as much corn as I want. That was like on the menu that they gave me. And I was convinced that it was the corn that had um, increased my, uh, made my count to 100 EOE, eosinophils. So I stopped eating corn, continue on the six food elimination diet, stopped eating corn. And um, six weeks later, my EOE count was still 100. I'm like, what is going on? So he finally suggested, listen, let's, would you be willing to do the elemental diet? And I said, what, what is the elemental diet? And he said, it's a liquid diet. You'll be drinking this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It contains amino acids, carbohydrates, um, electrolytes, and other nutrients. It's a complete elemental nutrition. Uh, Vivanex is the brand that was prescribed. He says, it's gonna smell and it's gonna stink. And it has a 95% success rate, but a 20% compliant rate with patients. And for various reasons. Number one, it's a very expensive diet, uh, sometimes not uh, covered by insurance. Uh, it smells, it stinks, uh, and people want to eat food and not just drink this liquid. Um, so I said, you know what? I'll do it. I like a challenge. I was on this Vivanex diet for about six weeks. No, more than that, uh, it was eight weeks. And guess what? The next endoscopy revealed, or the biopsies revealed, zero eosinophils. Wow, I was so thrilled. I'm like, of course, it's pure elemental. It's got no chemicals, preservatives, etc., in it. And then my doctor says, whoa, whoa, we're not done yet. Uh, we need to start reintroducing foods. We need to see which foods are causing this EOE. Now that my esophagus is completely healed and clean and pure and beautiful, um, I said, okay, so what do I need to eat? He said, we need to reintroduce you first with fruits and vegetables. Well, I was really excited because I love vegetables. And okay, I eat some fruit. In fact, I grow my own strawberries in our garden. Um, but I said, I'll take it. and. My husband, John, made wonderful dishes, but only all kinds of vegetables. Every kind of vegetable that you can imagine, I ate them all. And fruits, and I was excited because I said, this might be it. Maybe I need to eat more fruits and vegetables uh, because they're always stressing how healthy fruits and vegetables are. So I ate for about another six, seven weeks, and I got my endoscopy, and guess what? The fruits and vegetables damaged my esophagus. My eosinophil count 
was elevated. Part of, one part of my uh, esophagus had 70 eosinophil count and the other, uh, another part of the esophagus had 50. I was really, really shocked. And I couldn't understand why healthy fruits and vegetables would damage my esophagus. And then I thought, wait a second, what do fruits and vegetables have in common? They're all loaded with pesticides and insecticides. And I ate so many vegetables, all loaded with insecticides and pesticides. Grapes are worst offenders. Potatoes, worst offenders. Um, spinach, uh, all kinds of um, vegetables. And fruit, too, bananas, oh my God. Um, anyway, so I said, you know what? I bet you I know what's causing my EOE problem. And probably it's causing the EOE problem for other people who suffer food impaction. Um, all the foods that we eat, think about it people, are loaded with preservatives, additives, food coloring, hormones, um, steroids, um, antibiotics, pesticides, insecticides. Everything that we eat, our whole food supply is loaded with them. And I understand the argument for all these toxins and poisons and chemicals because the goal is to preserve the shelf life of food. But in the process, the downside is that it can damage people's health. And in particular for me, my esophagus, and not just for me, but for many other people who suffer from EOE. So I told my doctor, I don't want to do any more food reintroduction. I want to avoid foods that contain none of these poisons. Um, and so I started eating uh, range-free uh, chicken, cage-free chicken, um, cage-free eggs, um, grass-fed uh, beef, because none of these foods have any of those chemicals. No preservatives, no additives, no steroids, no antibiotics. And the only vegetable I ate uh, was um, cabbage, red cabbage and uh, green cabbage, because cabbage has a natural enzyme that uh, keeps uh, insecticides and pesticides at bay. So they're not really sprayed with insecticides and pesticides. And I also ate red onions. Um, and I ate a lot of organic beans. I love beans to begin with. So eating the organic ones were good. So I read the label very carefully. It just said organic beans and water, nothing else. And um, let's see, uh, eggs of course. Um, and for fruit, uh, watermelon. Because uh, watermelon has a very thick rind. Uh, so it's very hard for pesticides and insecticides sprays to penetrate the rind and you know damage the delicious watermelon and um, pineapple is the same so I love pineapple and a lot of watermelon uh, during this diet which took place for 15 weeks I, I was on this diet which I call the Miriam diet it is what it is you gotta call it what it is it's the Miriam diet I created it for myself I have not found any diets uh, that eliminate preservatives, additives, food coloring, etc. And let's see, I ate dark chocolate, organic dark chocolate. I read the, the label. If it contained any kind of emulsifier or additive or preservative, I didn't purchase it. A lot of chocolates contain that. Um, and I made, uh, found this wonderful recipe for uh, organic vanilla ice cream uh, because it's very easy to make, it contains four ingredients organic heavy cream, dulce de leche or condensed milk that contains no additives, preservatives, etc. And um, uh, vanilla extract, organic vanilla extract, and a little bit of sea salt. It takes five minutes to make, you freeze it for six hours plus, and you just enjoy it. And um, I did that for uh, 15 weeks. I got my endoscopy uh, a couple of weeks ago. And guess what, people? The report shows, my biopsy report results show I have up to zero eosinophils. I thought that was funny, up to. Up to zero eosinophils. So I don't have EOE anymore. I have healed myself because I study our food supply, what's in it, and when all these other diets didn't work, the six food elimination diet, I was allowed to eat all kinds of food, but they all had all these very harmful chemicals that harm my esophagus. So that's the good news that I want to share with you. Um, so now it's my job to continue to stay healthy, to maintain my zero eosinophil counts. I'm going to be adding other foods to my diet, uh, like uh, paleo. We were eating paleo, where my husband and I are paleo eaters. 
but paleo calls for a lot of meats and fish. Uh, but now we're eating the right kind of meat that is clean. Uh, we don't eat fish, that's another story, because the uh, fish that you're getting, even though it may be called wild caught salmon, isn't really. 90% of wild caught salmon is really bad salmon. That's another story. Um, so, and my job is now is to educate people, uh, to advocate for you. Um, I have shared my story on a, a couple of uh, Facebook eosinophilic esophagitis uh, pages, uh, and people tell me that I give them hope. And doctors, um, please offer your patients, uh, in the beginning, the elemental diet as an option. You know, I thought it, it was very difficult at first, um, but I'm very disciplined and focused. And I have to tell you, the elemental diet, my Vivanix uh, carton, uh, is my new best friend. I cannot live without Vivanex because I know it takes care of my esophagus and my EOE. And I supplement my uh, Miriam diet food uh, with Vivanex. That's all I drink. I drink Vivanex and seltzer and water and nothing else. Um, and it didn't really negatively impact my lifestyle. I do many things and one of the things that I do is I run ultra marathons. I've been running for many years. Uh, and uh, I recently ran a 24-hour race on a very hot Labor Day weekend. I placed uh, a third female. I was very happy. And guess what my nutrition was at the race? I ate a ground beef, organic ground beef, grass-fed beef that my husband prepared with um, beans, organic beans, and pineapple, and um, watermelon and potato chips that I don't ingest. I just lick for the salt and then spit out. And um, uh, my Vivanex, and it kept me going. And uh, uh, in uh, August, I ran a 12 hour uh, uh, ultra marathon as a training run from this one, and I ate the same foods. And here I am. And so uh, I also grow my own uh, vegetables in the summer. So I, I ate my own uh, potatoes. Uh, when I was on the fruit and vegetable diet, it wasn't yet spring and I couldn't plant potatoes. Uh, and I ate so many store-bought potatoes and it just ruined my esophagus. So uh, I look forward to harvesting some more potatoes this fall. And um, I have some kale that always comes back really well. And um, I have, I'm going to some zucchini maybe. And I still have uh, tomatoes that are still here. Uh, it's, all, it's all good. So um, if you go up to uh, the link here in the description of my video, you'll see the link to my past article on my theory about uh, my Miriam diet. Um, I tested it and it worked and you should too, but you have to be very disciplined. You have to stay focused. Um, and you'll see my other articles and on my journey with the six foot elimination diet. Um, and the uh, elemental diet. So if you have a really wonderful story to share, contact me on my website. Uh, let me know your story. Uh, and doctors, uh, please share with your patients my story. Um, as it turns out, I'm my doctor's first patient ever on the elemental diet with great success. And um, I'm also the first patient uh, that created her own diet of eliminating preservatives, additives, food coloring, antibiotic steroids, pesticides, insecticides, and any ingredients that I cannot pronounce. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, you heal your um, uh, EOE uh, journey. And I know that Dupixin is out now. Uh, it's a drug intended for other ailments and it's not being prescribed to uh, EOE patients and I think that's an option they have the right to that option my understanding is that it's very very expensive thousands and thousands of dollars a month which for me would be unaffordable and yes this diet of cage free range free and grass fed diet can also be expensive you pay a little bit more per pound for meat and if you go to, to a farm which we have uh, you can buy a chicken that will cost $38 but there are ways, it might be $38 well spent because your health comes first and you're not gonna go bankrupt on my diet. Uh, so thank you again for watching. Please share your story and 
stay healthy.